Did you know that you can draw in sand in Photoshop? Layer styles make it pretty easy, actually. My name is Monika Zagrobelna, and in this Envato Task Plus tutorial, I'll show you how to create a sand text effect in Photoshop. We're not going to use any special sand writing font, but instead we'll play with the layer style settings to keep the effect easy to replicate and modify. But if you want to save time, you can use Envato Elements instead. The subscription on Envato Elements gives you access to millions of creative assets, including this sand Photoshop action. This action will turn every text into a sand typography in seconds. If you're interested, I've added a link in the description for you. Ok, let's get started! First, open the Patterns panel, open its menu, and select Legacy Patterns and more. This will load the other patterns to the pattern library. Download the stock images and install the font. Open the Send image and go to Image, Adjustments, Color Balance. With the Midtones option selected, change the color levels this way. Click the Highlights option and change its color levels this way. Right-click the background layer and select Duplicate layer. Go to Image, Adjustments, Levels and change the gamma value to darken up the texture a little bit. Create the text in all caps using the font Gel Pen Medium. Adjust the settings the following way. Change the text layer's blend mode to soft light, then duplicate it with Ctrl J. Double click the original text layer to apply the inner shadow effect using the following values. Double-click the copy text layer to apply the following layer style. In the contour settings, create your own contour this way. Right-click any of the text layers and choose Create Work Path. Create a new layer on top of all layers, call it 1 and pick the Brush tool. Open the Brush Settings panel, select a hard round brush tip and modify its settings as shown here. Pick the Direct Selection tool, right-click the path, and select Stroke Path. Select Brush from the Tool drop-down menu and click OK. Then hit Enter to get rid of the work path. Control click the thumbnail of the layer 1 to create a selection. Go to Select, Modify, Contract, and type in 3. Go to Select, Modify, Feather, and type in 2. Make the stroke layer invisible by clicking the eye icon next to it, then select the background copy layer. Press Ctrl J to duplicate the selection into a new layer. It will be called Layer 1 by default. Drag Layer 1 on top of all layers. Double-click layer 1 to apply the following layer style. For the texture, use the spiky bush pattern from the Nature Patterns set in the Legacy Patterns group. 
create a selection based on layer 1 again. Go to Select, Modify, Expand and type in 7. Go to Select, Modify, Feather and type in 5. Control shift click a text layer's thumbnail to add it to the selection you have so that the selection doesn't have any empty areas inside. Select the original background layer, then press Ctrl J to duplicate the selection in a new layer. That layer will be called layer 2. Drag it on top of both background layers and right below the original text layer. Double click layer 2 to apply a drop shadow effect using these values. Pick the brush tool and open the brush panel again. With the hard round tip still selected, modify the settings as shown here. Right click a text layer and choose Create Work Path. Create a new layer below the original text layer and call it Stroke Shadow. Pick the Direct Selection tool and set the foreground color to this one. Stroke the path just like you did before and don't forget to get rid of the work path afterwards. Control click the Stroke Shadow Layers thumbnail to create a selection. Select the background copy layer. Press Ctrl J, rename the duplicated layer to Stroke, then drag it on top of the Stroke Shadow layer. Right click layer 1 and select Copy Layer Style. Then right click the Stroke layer and select Paste Layer Style. Select the Stroke Shadow layer, then go to Filter, Blur, Motion Blur. Change the values this way. Change the Stroke Shadow Layer's Blend Mode to Linear Light, then press Ctrl T and add 10 to both X and Y values to move the shadow diagonally. Ctrl click a text layer's thumbnail to create a selection, make sure that the Stroke Shadow Layer is still the active one, then hit Delete to get rid of the shadow's inner parts. Press Ctrl D to deselect. Open the image with the starfish, press W and click Select Subject. Copy the selected area. Paste the starfish into the original document, resize it and place it next to the text. Go to Image, Adjustments, Hue Saturation and change the values to make the starfish less vibrant. Double-click the Starfish layer to apply the following layer style. Now use the same method as before to add the sand around the Starfish. To create a work path from an image, control click its thumbnail, then go to the Paths tab and click Make Work Path from Selection. Then stroke the selection on a new layer under the starfish and turn it into selection to duplicate a part of the background copy layer. Paste the layer style to it and add a motion blur to the shadow. If you want to make the sand effect subtler, group both of these new layers and add a layer mask to it. Paint on the layer mask with black using a soft brush to remove some of the sand. Click the Adjustments icon down the Layers panel and select Curves. Adjust the curves as shown here. Click the Adjustments icon again and select Solid Color. 
Use this color. Change the layer's blend mode to color burn and its opacity to 20%. Press Ctrl Alt Shift E to create a merged layer on top. Change its name to Final. Go to Filter, Render, Lighting. Choose the spotlight, then move and scale it around as you like. Change the rest of the settings as shown here. Place the water foam image on top of all layers and change its blend mode to screen. Right-click it and select Rasterize layer. Then go to Image, Adjustments, Desaturate. Move the foam downwards as needed and then you can pick the Eraser tool to remove any parts you don't like. Create a new layer below the foam layer and call it Water. Pick the Lasso Selection tool, then draw a selection following the foam edges, leaving some distance away from it. Fill that selection with this color. Deselect with Ctrl D. Change the water layer's blend mode to multiply and its opacity to 20%. Go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur and change the radius to 5. Duplicate the water layer, then change the copy's opacity to 15%. Drag the copy down some more to create a darker layer in between water layer and the foam layer. And that would be all. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Also, click the bell icon to be notified of new videos on the Envato Tats Plus channel. This was Monika Zagrobelna for Envato Tats Plus. Thanks for watching!